Today we're going to do a Google drawing with a digital portrait. Open up your drive. Go to go to new. Go to more and then to Google Drawings. Click in the title bar, title box, type in uh, portrait. Then we're going to set the size. So we will go to File, Page Setup, and it is on standard 4.3. And we are going to pick widescreen 16 by 10. Click Apply. Now, okay, now what we want to do is to insert our picture. So hopefully everyone has a picture on their drive or in their photos. So we go to insert and we go to um, upload from computer or if yours is in your drive or in photos. I think mine is in. I'm going to use this picture and my I want to just do one of the boys so I'm going to double click my picture I'm going to uh, crop it and And you can crop yours also if you'd like. Right. Click out of the picture. Now I'm going to make the picture bigger. I'm going to move it, stretch it out. Oops. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is to cl double click, to copy, paste, and I have two pictures. So, I, and I'm going to put them side by side. Okay. Now we're ready to do our portrait um, drawing. The tool we're going to use is. Um, under the line and we're going to do the polyline. First we want to get make an outline of the head, the the part that we're going to be working with. And I will start over here and with the polyline you do uh, clicks. You can um, do click with your mouse or you click enter and it it makes uh, the line connect and go around. Now here you can go around the hair or you could just do the face. I'm going to start by doing the whole outline and you see if it breaks up you do want to try to keep it connected so that your your um, your whole area is
and you just keep going around and you click at every few little parts and then I'm going to bring it over click here and hopefully up here and hopefully it will be connected <laughs> right, now let's see um, I did have some breaks so it did mess up so okay I redid mine and sometimes it may take several times to do but you continue until you get it the way you want and you can see I have the outline of the of the shape of, of the picture all right so now you can see that it fills with color and what I want to do is to go and select a color and uh, I'll go to the paint the fill color and I select a color and I can select this color but then I'm going to go up and do custom and I'm going to make it a little bit transparent and maybe you know uh, if it needs to be a little darker and that way now I can kind of see through <clears throat> the shape all right, and when you're finished, when you're not using the drawing tool, you need to click back on the arrow so that you can move it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slide this over and put it on the other portrait. Now what we're going to do is to use the shape to draw the different parts of, of his features. All right, so again, we, can we will use the... Uh, polyline and um, the first thing I'm going to do is to get the eyes uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to click and go around his eye part and if I like that I can keep that and I'll go ahead and keep that and then I'm going to do the other one That one did a little bit better. Then I'm going to um, use the fill to, to put the right color and I'm just I'm going to make it white. And I can also change the border color if I want to. And I'm going to click on the, oops, about to do my arrow. Click on the other eye, put white. Now I'm going to move the eyes over and put them on the portrait over here. And then um, for the, in, the eye inside, I, can, um, I could use the shapes and do a circle. These circles are really small, so you, uh, you'll have to adjust them really. And what I would like to do is put the color and it is it's dark. And what I'm going to do is while I have this, I'm going to do a control C, control V, and now I have two of them. And then I'm going to move them over, and put them on top of the eye. And then I can also make a little black circle for the inside of the eye. So what, what I could do is to do an, a control V and I have another one and I'm going to change it to a dark, the dark, probably the black. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I'll copy, control C and then control V. And I have two. Um, that one is kind of oblong, so I need to make it go in a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to, while I have the size I want, I'm going to control C, control V. Now I have two the same size. 
and I want to get the moving tool. Uh oh, it's moving the whole picture. Make sure it's clicked on good there. And then move. Oh, it made it big. Let's see. So I'm going to do undo so it'll go back to the size. Hopefully, I can get it. Do this. Ooh, these some big moves a little. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with. Uh, I can go to the nose. Get your poly tool, polyline tool, and try to outline. Do the short clicks, and you can do the outline of the nose, and then we'll uh, fill it with color. Uh -oh. All right, I have the outline of the nose. I'm going to go up to the color tool, the color fill. And I'm going to try to get uh, the color I had earlier. And of course, that's not the right color. I'm going to go to custom. I'm going to move the custom. It is kind of a little yellow. Maybe. All right. And I might want to, you know, make it a little bit different than the original one. So it shows up. And that outline tool, the border tool, I'm going to change it also. I could make it transparent so you don't see it at all. And then I'm going to move it and try to place it on the same area on his face over here. Now my transparent tool, I thought it, oh, it did it white. All right, now. So now I have that. And then, like, then we're going to, we'll do the hair and we'll do, um, the other parts. Okay, so next we'll do the mouth. Get your polyline tool. And like when you do this, like I said, you want to try to do it all in one shape so that it comes out and you can color the shape. If you make a connection, you'll see it uh, is filled correctly. All right, so um, we may do the mouth in several steps. Um, we have this, okay, and this path, this time I didn't, I uh, went to the wrong portrait, but that's okay. All right, so we, we want to make this, this the color of his lips. So let's see, they're a red color, and I'm going to take off the border line. I'm going to make it transparent, or you could do it in the red color to you know, help outline his mouth. All right, of course his mouth is not all red. So next what we want to do is the teeth. And, uh, you know, you can get, uh, you can do uh, each tooth and put it on there or, you know, um, ever how much detail you want to put into it. All right, so I am just going to outline the teeth and just make it white and put it inside my lips. Okay, it came out. I'm gonna change the color to white, and then I'm gonna move it and put it on top of my lips. So, his lips are a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than I want, and I can go back and change things if I want to. And in fact, could go and you know, couldn't make it, whoops, I could downsize it like this, too, to help, okay, and later if you wanted to add more lines in there to make it look like teeth, you can do that also, all right, so his nose is not showing up too off, too much, but we can do some little circles and put as the nostrils, 
and um, you could do that with your shape circles like we did the um, eyes and they are kind of a dark color in there so I'm gonna make it dark and I'm gonna move this over and see how it looks so I can move it over oops wrong here's this right and I'm gonna take off that border I'm gonna move it over my nostril I think it's up too high Uh -oh. One, two. Okay, and I copied and pasted the uh, the nostril and made two. I um next I you know his nose has a little bit of redness, so I'm going to try to uh, make a little bit uh to make it a, a, a 3D effect. But I'm gonna. Use my poly tool, poly line tool, and I'm just going to try to draw around like a, the end of the shape of the nose. Oops, made a disconnect there. Poly line. And then I will change the color. Custom. It's not as dark. And this one had a little bit of a tinge of a redness to it. So, let's see how this is going. And I'm going to get my pointer so I can move it. Oops. And um, with your time, also, we're short on time. So one thing, uh, you know, you can play around with it and um, uh, change it to, you know, redo the shape if it's not quite the way you wanted it to be. All right. And next, we're going to do the ear. So we take the polyline tool. We're going to do the shape around the ear. Change the color. Custom. Still kind of dark. And I would play around with that and make it different colors. Uh, um, the shape, it, you can see it's kind of pointed. But what you can do is, why is it getting so, um, we'll have hair that goes over it. So it won't be as pointed as it looks now. And then I should have taken the border off there okay now all right so we have some of the features and uh, then uh, we could also do the face shape and uh, we should have done that earlier but we can layer it so if you go and do your polyline and we're going to do the shape that uh, for the hair that's under the hair
Okay, now, now this makes it on top of the others. What I want to do is to uh, go up to uh, Arrange, go to Order, and then we're, we're going to have to do Send to the Back, and we're going to have to do it several times because uh, it goes behind each one of the tools we've already done. So if we would have done this before, it would have been layered on top. So keep going until everything is on top. Keep going to Arrange, Order, Send Backwards. Okay, now it. I do want it on top of the, the first one that we did. So um, after we've got everything else on top, then we can move this over and put it on top of his face. Okay. Now what we're going to do is to add, then we can add the neck, and then we'll, we can add the shirt, and then we'll do the hair. Okay, so uh, as you work, work on the neck. the shirt Okay, and then I can also do uh, shapes of the inside of the ear, but um, and next we can do the eyebrows. Let's do that. And next we're going to do the hair. Now the hair can take some time because you kind of want to make it in small uh, sections so it looks more realistic. Uh, well, not really realistic, but it has more details. All right, so we'll do the poly tool. And I just take little areas of the hair. I could do several at a time and then move them over. When you're coloring the hair, you might change it to different uh, um, different types of darkness, and that way it would uh, uh, different strands.
and you can also see that so your colors save as you create new ones so you can you know use the colors that you have saved and I'm going to move some of these over try to match them up from where I took them this one. This one needs to, uh-oh, <laughs> this one needs to be on top, and um, so I'm going to move it over here, and then I'm going to click Arrange, Order, and Bring to the Front, and that way it should be on top now. You're going to continue doing this until you have all the hair completed. Like I said, change the color, the, the lightness and darkness of the hair to give more dimension. Okay. I um, have added more details to mine, and, you know, I can go back and, you know, edit those. I created... Um, as many lines as I could and you can see the different colors in the hair even though um, you know it's not quite the same color as the original portrait it still adds another dimension all right so after you get all of it done then what you can do is take your original picture out from under and see what it looks like pretty cool uh, if you want to add your own background you could create your own background and um, by going, you can make a shape and um, square to go behind, behind, and uh, whatever color you want to make it. Yeah, I do a light gray. Now, and then you will go to arrange. You'll go to order, and you'll go to send to the back. Now the portrait's behind that. So, or you could leave it without a background, and and that way you could insert your picture into any um, any type of, of of without a background. All right. So now I'm going to um, save this, and I'm going to take off my original pictures, and I can click on them in the backspace. Right. And without a background, what I'll do is go uh, File, Download as a ping, PNG, click that, and you have it in your downloads. And if you want to preview it, Show in Finder, or Open. if I can find it. All right, there it is. And I can click on it. And there is my picture. And I can insert it into any other background that I want. So have fun. It is addicting when you start playing with it. You don't want to stop. And then you can do other pictures that way, your animals or anything else that you'd like to do. All right, I hope you have fun, and I hope you have a great creation.